Hi. Look, I'm going to tell you what the best cereals are. I'm the best at, at stuff. I know stuff. Look, I'm a professional stoner. I have food knowledge that people couldn't dream of having. I'm going to tell you where each cereal ranks on a tier list. If you disagree, how could you possibly? Full disclaimer, I don't eat cereal. Look, I've eaten all, I've eaten all the cereals I've ranked. I've had them a bunch of times. But like recently, lately, bro, I'm not just getting milk, getting cereal and just like... <laughs> I eat cereal bars here and there sometimes. I did have cereal not too long ago but like it's not like a it's not like a regular thing anyway i'm an expert look all right we're gonna go in alphabetical order egos maple syrup flavor these are good bro lego my ego like it's actually it's crazy because it's waffle cereal these have uh like syrup flavoring to them right i'm gonna put these on a tier dude these are not bad look they got a lot of vitamin d in them you need to understand also most of these guys it's either like it's either like 60% sugar and corn or 60% the sugar and the rice or wheat or like it, but there's no way this is food. It's kibbles for humans. Go cookie crisp. Guys, the thing about cookie crisp is like the commercials are cool. Like the, bro, the cereal. It's one of those, it's better without milk. Or this is one of those when it gets soggy, it's really weird. Like when it no longer crisps and it's cookie soggy bites, it's, it's kind of weird. I like them, but they're not the best. I'm putting cookie crisp on B tier. Like it could be better. They, they somehow trick you into thinking like, hey, yo, bro. Like, but like, it's not that great. Like it's not as good as it could be. Uh, let's get another, let's get honeycomb. That's another interesting one. It, it, it's like the Ego one, but like, you know, honeycomb. Um, I gotta let you guys know, this is an S tier cereal. You're crazy if you're saying anything else. People are saying D tier? Honeycomb? You're talking about honeycomb, right? All right, look, you're crazy. Yo, honeycomb, S tier. Wow, it's very early on in this tier list, and I'm definitely not recording this later. Come get high with us on Twitch. The sesh starts at 9 p.m. Eastern. You could be in the next video. You could be famous. Tell all your friends. Don't only tell the cool ones. Frosted Cheerios. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. Frosted Cheerios, I don't think they're the best, like this kind right here. This this isn't the best kind of Cheerio. This might be a little B tier bander right here. It could be C tier. This one though, I think it leaves the milk like extra like vanilla -y or something like it. It's got a little extra like, you know, it's got a little. Maybe that's going C tier. I'm thinking we 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 scratch C tier with that. Corn flakes. Guys, the number one way people eat corn flakes is they pour the corn flakes and either before or after they pour the milk, they dump a bunch of sugar on it. Like, bro, corn flakes, bro, corn flakes are crazy. Like it's collectively everybody, right? Like they're just dumping it on there and they're just scooping milky sugar from the bottom of their bowl and cornflakes and biting into it like by themselves are like it's embarrassing how bad they are because nobody's eating it like that like like you eat it how everybody else eats it it might be a tier but like bro by themselves like bro it's garbage like that, that that's like that's like bro buy like if how you have it like that's hamster food or something like i don't even know dude like if you really think about it what's crazy is you take the other catalog over here you upgrade from the the chicken to the tiger bro you get the frosted flakes bro the thing about frosted flakes bro it's it bro it's similar flakes as before bro it's like it's like the corn flakes but they're going crazy with it bro they glaze these sons it's like a glazed donut like hear me out you ever had a non-glazed donut donut no you're not a serial killer right like bro non-glazed donuts are crazy bad that's like what a cornflake is like but you get a glazed donut you get the frosted flake like bro some you take one thing you make it a thousand times better like it's it's crazy how good a frosted flake is like i've said this before i'll say it again if they could collaborate frosted flakes and pringles and give me a pringles tube of like pringle sized frosted flakes i might pay ten dollars a tube i might do it like i don't want them to charge that much but i might pay ten dollars a tube you give me frosted flakes the size of pringles and a pringle tube bro frosted flakes are s tier it might be it might be the best one of the best cereals like i don't not glazed plain donut Ugh. glazed donut like what it's the best thing ever like how did you do it like it's the yin and the yang like it's not one or the other you got the thing all right where are we at apple jacks guys remember when apple jacks bro they got the cinnamon apple jacks are good like i don't apple jacks are good they cut your mouth up a little bit but you got to be ready for this like if cereals cut in your mouth you don't have a strategy um apple jack they're not 
they're not my favorite they're not the best i'd probably put them at like i probably put them at a solid a tier like i'll 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 mess with some apple jacks boo berry i'm honestly i'm not getting i'm not getting the boo berry or the frankenberry that often you know but i i will get the count chocula but the boo berry oh it's so it's so Hey, it's not anything crazy, but I'm not going out of my way to be like, oh, where's the boo berry at? Need to get the need to get the marshmallowy boo berry. I'm thinking, I'm thinking C. We'll we'll be we'll be generous. We'll spread these out. Otherwise, everything gets loaded up on like A tier or something. I think in uh Frankenberry is uh I don't, like these are classics, right? Like it depends. Like it's like a mood kind of thing. Like we might just let these chill right by the boo like we got the captain crunch the peanut butter the uh with berries the sprinkled donut the oops all berries and the peanut butter i don't think i've had the donut chat the plain ones that are like they're good but what flavor are they corn flavored the the same flavor with berries the oops all berries and the peanut butter like they all kind of taste the same it's not that different like this one is a mix of this one and this one like what are we doing like i'm gonna say B tier, B tier, A tier, peanut butter, only A tier. By themselves, not that good. But the combo, I might like these better than the Oops All Berries. Like the Oops All Berries, that's just to appeal to you as a kid. Like, whoa, it's all the colorful ones trying to steal the tricks market share. Like, but really, like as a reasonable adult, I can attest that a combination of the two is the best. Captain Crunch with the berries. Let's go. Chocolate Cheerios, I only had a few times because they weren't that good. I'm going to say B tier. Plain Cheerios, that's another one where almost nobody is eating these how they come. Almost nobody. They're dumping sugar in the their bowl they're they're heaping sugar on top of it and they're eating it with scoops of sugar but honey nut cheerios bro honey nut cheerios might be s tier i don't know how they do it bro how do you do it like gotta be studied like they put stuff on stuff all the time but like the combos are going crazy on some of these checks is a go on checks is how you get muddy buddies checks mix all that kind of stuff we got the rice checks the blueberry the cinnamon check the blueberry the I like blueberry stuff, but I feel like the blueberry one was kind of a miss here. Anybody else? Like, like the blueberry flavor was like, how do, how do you do that? I think the regular rice checks are, are better. But the cinnamon ones might be the best one. Now, I think I'm bumping this down. Let's let's get a tier for each of these. B tier, but it could be A tier on some days. Maybe it's the height of the height. Uh, the Cinnabon ones I've had, the little cinnamon swirls I've had. These are like really hard. Like some cereal gets soggy pretty quick or it gets soft like right when you put the milk on it. Not these. You need, they need a, bro, they need a minute. Like they're a little like, Oh, you got little like baked little thick cinnamon rolls like they got some density to them it takes a minute for the milk to penetrate like i'm thinking that maybe <sighs> these might be a beat they're good they're even good by themselves you just eat like handfuls of them they got a nice weight to them all right chat this is another pretty popular one that a lot of people have mixed feelings on okay i kind of agree I, it might be my favorite cereal. It might be like, how is it so good? Like, I don't even like cinnamon stuff that much. God damn. You make toast, put butter on it, sprinkle some cinnamon and sugar. I used to make that a, a lot as a kid. Bro, Wheaties are like, hey, let's put athletes on the front they'll eat it i don't i don't i think i feel like i had wheaties one time and like i was like who eats this all right tricks where are you putting tricks no they got the fruit flavored ones where's the where's the regular berries where's the regular balls uh tricks are good i used to think they were s tier until i got them uh i think it was one i just didn't get a lot as a kid but the oops all berries might be better Fruit Loops are really good. They're not great, but they're they're like a tried and true. Like you can get by on the Fruit Loops. Like I think they're better than Tricks. They're in the same ballpark where it's like, look, we need some chocolate or some cinnamon. Like the fruity stuff can only like I'll eat fruit in the morning for breakfast if we're really doing it like this. Frosted mini wheat salt, not bad. A lot of crunch in there. This is one, bro. You put like a handful of the frosted mini wheats in there. You pour like a cup of milk in, bro. It sponges them up. A lot of the cereal I would get as a kid was just whatever was like the best deal for the most you know so i tr you know we tried a lot of cereal um th this one is not bad i think i like it more than a lot of this c tier stuff i think i'm putting it on low b tier not gonna lie not a bad one all right cocoa puffs they're corny they're not cocoa enough that they, they taste like corn balls that are chocolate flavored 
Still pretty good. Um, I'm gonna go B tier. Count Chocula. But I think the Count Chocula was one of the better ones. I'm thinking this one hits A tier. Super chocolatey. It's good. Cocoa Pebbles. My issue with the Cocoa Pebbles is they're too pebbly. I'm thinking it's still it's still decent though. It's about a B tier with the puffs. But the Cocoa Krispies are so good, dude. The puffiness to them. They, they leave the milk chocolate, bro. I don't think any of them quite scratched the S tier surface for me. All right, Pops. I remember Pops commercials. And I think that was the first time I thought something was cringe. I'm like, bro, nobody likes Pops that much. And I'm like a little kid. Not terrible, but not good. I'm thinking D tier, actually. Like, I'm not getting Pops. Like, I'd have to have one cereal a week for a year to try all these. Like, you, you know how crazy this is? Look. Okay, Golden Grams. Where are we at on the Golden Grams chat? They're like a specific kind of good. They're not an everyday good. They're like graham crackery flavored. They got like a, not a super sweetness to them, but like a good sweetness to them. I'm going to say they're up there. I'm going to say in like an A or B range, like I'm going to say a high B for Golden Grams. Like they're up there. They're pretty good. Um, I don't actually know what this is. Enviro Kids Organic Gorilla Munch. Like I don't know. I have never had Harambe cereal. Fruity Pebbles? Uh, Cocoa Pebbles? I probably put the, the decent. I think Fruity Pebbles are trash. Like I could never get into them. The only time I ever liked them is in like like a Rice Krispie Treat but with Fruity Pebbles and it was a like an edible. And I knew I was going to get high from it. So I was like, yeah. But like as a cereal, like who's getting that? I'm not going to lie. I don't know how they got by on one scoop of raisins in the raisin brand for so long. On the two scoops is the move. It's another one I feel though. People are dumping sugar on top of it, but I used to like it. Oh, the raisins in it are nice. Like you get a nice little bunch of like raisins and flakes. It's decent. I'm thinking this one makes it a C tier. I mean, even without the sugar, I can get by on the raisins. It's got enough sweetness in the raisins I can get by. Krispies. Regular Rice Krispies in, in Rice Krispie treat form, they go crazy. Cocoa Krispies, we know that they're, they're an A tier. I think that the regular Krispies are also an A tier i don't think that they quite reach s tier like bro the pouring the milk on it here in the snap crackle and pop especially when you're high no way dude but somehow lucky charms are so good even the charms are good like i'll eat the charms i don't need the marshmallows in it but the marshmallows take it to the next level lucky charms are s tier even in bar form i used to get cereal bars with lucky charms absolutely amazing kicks silly rabbit tricks aren't kicks i don't know how they do it with the kicks there's some, it's there's something that they do there's a magic to it where it's they're not even as sweet as they could be kicks are s tier somehow somehow they break barriers there's nothing crazy going on they punch through walls and they reach s tier i don't know how they do it kicks are there there's a there's a there's a magic happening that i literally cannot explain there's um there's a magic happening with the kick bro i need the kicks reese's puff cereal chocolate and peanut butter we've we've ranked some chocolate cereals we've ranked some uh peanut butter cereals somehow when you separate the chocolate and the peanut butter in cereal form you can't achieve greatness like you can when they are combined reese's puff cereal are s tier there are only so many s tier cereals and reese's puffs are definitely one of them you take out the chocolate they're not s tier you take out the peanut butter they're not s tier but together combined they work hand in hand to be an s tier cereal look i literally don't think i've had don't i don't think i've had any of these other ones on the list so uh those are the cereals on the list look he hear me out bro don't eat cereal it's like bro it's like kibbles for humans get get some real food but if you're eating cereals make sure it's an s tier one anyway come get high with us on twitch why weren't you doing that already